What's up guys? Welcome to today's episode. We're going to be talking about our top 10 bow hunting essentials. Holy son of a gun, that's a big one. What's up guys, so welcome back to another episode of G Outdoors. Today, we're, we're indoors. We, we are, we're we are actually indoors. indoors. But we're, yeah. doing, we're talking about stuff for outdoors, that's but we're it. indoors because on the it, outdoors. Tomorrow is officially the opening for bow season. It's exciting. It's like Christmas Eve right now. Oh yeah. Oh. And we're packing our bags, so we thought, you know what? Let's just throw a video together for you guys of our top 10 Things we take for bow hunting. Remember, it's for a bow hunter. We're not including the bow as our top 10 because that should be it's a in your hand. And you food and water. It. Food and water is not part of the top 10 essentials. Which I they mean, are essential. They are essentials, but, but other than food, your basic it. need to survive, you gotta have your stuff. You know what I mean? That's it, exactly. So no bow, <laughs> no food and water. So let's jump right into it. Definitely. A big one for us. The number one thing we take early season. A thermocell with the recharge and the butane. You know, you need you need this kit. They work together, we count them together. If you guys are fortunate enough to not need it because you don't have mosquitoes, yeah. Good like you we congratulations. Get eaten congratulations. Alive. Yeah. This is <laughs> can't even yeah, say it. This saves our hunts on so many years. Uh so and many times. I don't know how we did it at the beginning. I, when we first started hunting without suffer. them, it's suffering. It was all, suffering. All you hear is <laughs> and it's like I can't face four masks. Hours, yeah. Four to six hours of that oh. in the afternoon, and you're like, oh, I don't want to go there. That's oh it. my god! So this, yeah, this saves us. And you know, people say, oh, it makes smell the butane. You're supposed to be hunting downwind from the deer. Yeah, don't forget that. That's it, downwind. And how this works basically is it comes with a butane cartridge in the back, and that lasts about 12 hours, and then you have these little blue strips that come in the front. All you do is you turn it on, you press, you wait five seconds, you press the light, uh, you press the button and you see the light come up. You know and, it's on. And you know it's on, it's good to go, and you know the little blue strip lasts four hours. It turns white basically when it it's on. It turns white, on. yeah, that's it. And it's safe, it's perfect for just the right amount of time. If you go slip in for the late afternoon hunt or early oh, morning, it's, it's, it's just the right amount of time. Yeah. It gets you out there comfortably that you're not bothered by mosquitoes. Oh yeah. Essential number two. A range finder. Ooh. If you're a bow hunter, I don't care if you, you judge yardage, you say I know my stuff, whatever. It's better to be precise, oh. it gets you, you better results. Know. Yeah, that's it. The deer can be downhill, that looks completely oh. different uphill. I've been fooled so oh. many times. Like, yeah. yeah, that's 30 yards. You go and check your Jeez, like 42 yards. Like yeah. I would have completely missed. Yeah, that's it. Nope. So, and especially when you get to your spot, range find all your all the big Big things around you, the big trees or certain trees that stick out or certain rocks or certain things. Make you mental memories. Them, that's a mental for each side because you never know where the deer is going to come As from. As you're waiting, you could do that. You look at certain trees that are unique and you're like, okay, that's 30, that's 50, that's 20. You know, at so least it gives you a out, gauge. Yeah. So if the deer pops out of nowhere, at least you're not... You're not wasting time lifting your rangefinder, ranging the deer. Literally. At least you have the rock, the tree as a as a reference point. We don't. You don't always have that chance. So sometimes if that big buck is coming and he's oh, yeah. he's moving, they, oh, they I remember that tree. That was 30 yards. You could go for it. That's it. So that's our second essential: a rangefinder. Make sure your battery's full. Also, <laughs> change it every season. All right, guys. Essential number three: scent eliminating spray. That's all. Oh, that's. A lot of people don't believe in this, it's, but honestly, it's the proof's in the pudding. We've gone- It, it has to work. We've gone five to eight yards on deer, like yeah. especially in ground blinds, not in trees. On ground blinds, we've had deer come five to eight yards. Their nose being is so downwind, strong. Downwind and being with it works. scent spray. It works. Not a particular brand. Like yeah. we, we use anyone, whatever's on special, you know, it's always, it's work for us. Oh yeah. We, we really put it to the test. And had, we have clips for you guys of deer coming in super close, but honestly, You can't this only is, rely on this, you know? We, we use ghillie suits also, it helps to- Downwind, good cover, uh, stuff like that, but- Our backpacks always have this. Always, in all, hunting, all always. the time. It's, it's an essential. It That's has it. to be there. In bow hunting, you gotta be close to your animal. So you gotta, you got, the animal you're going after has to be within bow range, so it's close enough. You don't want him to smell you in his natural habitat. Yeah. Scent spray is the way to go. You're damn right. Essential number four. 
a back tracker. For us, we call it, it's actually a GPS. A GPS, yeah. Some sort of point marker, especially if you're exploring areas. If you're going to new areas, bow hunting, it's always thicker in the woods. It's, it looks like a jungle in some places, especially in our Canadian woods. You can mark your car. Oh you yeah, know, your vehicle, anything. This one has 25 waypoints, so you could definitely mark as many spots. Plus, it also has five images as waypoints. So you have like a, a deer head, there's tree a, a tree stand, there's a car, a yeah, quad, stuff like that. It actually, it's, it's super useful, especially if you've never, if you're yeah. exploring an area. New cool. areas, yeah. If you want a bigger GPS that you're willing to have a bigger budget, and definitely it's the way to go. But or if we not, just use, yeah, simple. A hunt track, yeah, any sort of GPS. Until you get comfortable and then you don't need it no more. That's but it. for us, one wrong turn, you know, you could end up God knows where, especially in these Canadian, these Canadian woods. So definitely a backtracker, especially if you're starting off, is the way to go. Yeah. All right, guys, essential number five. Windicators. These, yeah, the push sprays. Where's the wind things, going? Oh, that's always a huge factor. Sometimes, I don't know why, where we are, the winds change Three, oh, almost three, it, four it times doesn't make sense. in one sit. So we're constantly spraying, trying to get down wind, especially if you're spot and stalking. You definitely so want it gets you a windicator because this thing could save your hunt. And this goes with uh, essential number three, which was the, the spray. You spray, you spray yourself, you want to be downwind. This helps you know where downwind where down is. is. Exactly, yeah. where it is. You just fill it with baking soda and you're you're good to go. I, but this is something that we always have in our bag as well. Once we finish, like what you said, the quick thing there, we put baking soda and you know what? It works for us. Oh yeah. Obviously, don't get it wet, but or else it sprays up no problem. You don't need to keep rebuying them. You could just use it yourself. Essential number six, a knife. If you're a hunter, this tool is oh, your go-to. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You always need a knife. Doesn't matter who makes it, as long as it's sharp. Basically, wow. every time you go in the woods, you expect your goal should be to get your animal that yeah. you're going after, you know? So you definitely always want to prepare in your head mentally that you're coming out with your animal, your target, and basically a knife is going to help with that. Plus, it's always good for safety. You never know what you Any need a situation, knife. You, it's better a, a stronger knife because in case you got to hack at something or you, you need to make a it's fire like or cut wood. if a little cheap knife is going to break on you, it's how do you knife. keep yourself no. alive for that night or a good knife we even have a deer knife here that i carry with me in my bag at all times it's got the regular knife it's got the gutting hook and it's got the saw blade here so you can even cut through bone if you need or wood or wood. basically exactly. you could cut oh, down limbs with it saw, it's exactly. not a problem cut branches make a fire but yeah it's basically. not huge but it's a pretty no. good idea fold it up and you're good to go always in your pocket boom Right. Essential number seven, a fire starter of some sort. You're damn right. You never know if you're stuck out there. You know you're chasing, you're, you're following your, your deer, your animal, whatever. It becomes your head nice was down because you're not oh, paying yeah, you're, attention. You're following blood. Next thing you know, you're lost. It's the last thing you want to happen, but fire starter can at least save your life in certain situations. You don't want to start doing circles and you hunker down. That's it. Get you back to yeah. thinking straight. You don't have to try to make a fire with wood. It's obviously doable, but you don't want to break your head with that. So definitely we always carry a fire starter. I just picked one up, a new one to put in the backpack. It's, you know, a personal tip. I always have, you know, when I, an emergency Ziploc that has a bird's nest. When we go shed hunting, sometimes we find these old nests and I took one a couple years ago. It is so dry in that Ziploc oh, yeah. that, that I know it's gonna straight. Start in a second. It's just, you know, you could, oh, yeah. it's it just could a little tip life. that I, it could save your you life. You never know what could happen. You know, everyone says it's not going to happen to me. You know, things going to happen. Oh, Better yeah. be ready. Fire starter. Fire starter. In the bag. Essential number eight, a flashlight. Yeah, flashlight. These, these guys, they could save your life too. Oh yeah. You never know how long you're going to be out there in the woods. You know, you get an animal right before dark or even early morning. You want to find your spot. Definitely the headlight way to go. Keep your hands free. Yep. We always carry a headlight. We have a bigger flashlights too, but we always love bringing the headlights in for both season. Now the new LED technology, like the, they're oh, so bright ridiculous. and the batteries last forever. So not, not forever, but they last you know, a long time. And there's so many features on them too. Red light, low, low glow. It's great so for you tracking your deer. It's great for walking in the woods because you could choose your intensity. Like you don't have to have it super bright. It's if you need a light to be safe. You know, always, it's oh yeah, always bring it. Gutting <laughs> in the dark. How many times you find your deer after dark? Cause you gave him that two hours or and all the, the big bucks come sometimes right before dark. Right so before I, dark, yeah. Oh yeah. So this is another item that we always keep in our in bags. Backpack. All right, guys. Essential number nine, 
rope. Any sort of rope to go along with the safety. You never know how long you're gonna be out there. If you need to build a shelter, put wood together. Tie stuff to tie, yourself. Tie your animal, drag him out. It's definitely rope. It's the way to go. There's so many useful things for it. You know, you're not gonna technically drag a deer. You know, we always use the rope. We tie the, the feet exactly. like that and we drag it so much easier on us. It's also a handy tool, like your your you shoelace, tie things your, to your anything. bag. Yeah, tie things to, to power yourself. Power cord in oh, yeah. survival situations <laughs> is a, paramount. Oh, yeah. oh. It's, you need it. That's something it speaks we for care itself. About. It's rope. You need rope. <laughs> always. Essential number ten. If you're a tree stand hunter, safety should always be first. Number one. You want to get home. Harness. That's, that's yeah, you have a family. That's you have a kid. Oh, you yeah. gotta come back home at the end of the day. Yeah. Same, you know, there's always somebody there. You want to go home? It's it's an essential the harness. The new the new, new harnesses aren't annoying as as annoying as putting all the little buckles. It's yeah. like click clack clack three clicks in your. This is the hunter safety buckles. system one. It's one of the most popular ones. Everyone buys them. They're not overly expensive, and no. you know what? If it could save your life, we've all heard about Horror a tree stories. sand. Yeah, yeah Horror stories. from people being handicapped. Like personally, yeah. we know of people like it's like they you, fall asleep you think it's not gonna happen and, yeah. to you their like, stand gives error. out their stand gives out or they fall asleep you're in the middle of the woods like people you know it could definitely save your life so definitely if you guys are hunting from a tree or from elevation of some sort safety first use a, a safety harness 100 percent. yeah bonus tip toilet paper well you're wondering why is it a ziploc because you know what in the bag Stuff happens, you know, you're oh, in the yeah. woods, it rains. You want your toilet paper clean. It doesn't have to be a huge roll, just enough, because, you know, you don't want to get poison ivy, you know? Yeah, so you could, yeah. Now I'll where the sun doesn't shine. Been there, done that. <laughs> Let me tell you. You don't want to go there. A shitty situation <laughs> if you use poison ivy. Leaves are not, paper. are not toilet paper, so you want a tick crawling in your bum? Don't do it. Just no, a bit of toilet just, paper. Oh yeah, always. The wife will be happy if you change that roll, put a fresh roll, look. You keep that one for you, just in case. Use this as a marker too, if ever you get lost. <laughs> you just hang some toilet paper you in the tree. You could burn it. You could, you could burn it. Yeah, it's a, oh, so many useful things. Toilet paper. You could, I know it sounds friends. crazy, but we're human. We all do it. It's a must. Toilet paper, bonus tip. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Hopefully the tips help. Let yeah. us know what you guys pack for in sure. your backpacks. Maybe we it's something we missed or something you feel like is very important. Throw it down below so others can see it as well. Uh, we're excited. Tomorrow is the opener. It's like crazy. Said. It's like I'm. It feels surreal. Like honestly, I'm. It's like, is this a dream? Like it's weird. That's starting off. That's but we're it. pumped. We're packing the bags. It's gonna be an early morning tomorrow. We definitely thought it would help you guys out. You know, sometimes you're like, oh, I want to pack light, but that's not it. have too much. All of this fits it gets our bags easily. Yeah, that's it. So we're pumped. Hopefully you guys are pumped. Hopefully you guys get good luck on this upcoming yeah, year season. Good luck, guys. And. Uh, yeah, that's it. We're excited. If you guys, if you guys first time here, like we said, be sure to like and subscribe for weekly videos. And now, as always, subscribe. <laughs> I'll hold it. Stay tuned. Stay, stay tuned. Stay tuned. And stay tuned. Hey guys, I hope you liked that tip video and I hope it helps. If you guys want to see some of our other videos, click on the links on the side and as always, like and subscribe. See you next week.